Hey guys, what's up? It's me, MJ Fangirl, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that I get a lot of questions about. MJ Fangirl, how did you make so many Michael Jackson fan friends? In today's video, I'm going to be answering that question and many more uh, related to my Michael Jackson fan friendships. So if you're interested in learning about how I met so many and have kept so many Michael Jackson fan friendships throughout the years, and if you're interested in making some Moonwalker friends of your own, stay tuned and you won't want to miss this video. You are now watching MJ Fangirl TV. Girl, you got before my name is MJ fangirl and I make videos all about and for the Michael Jackson fan community please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that YouTube lets you know when I upload next so for a while now I've been talking to you guys about my Michael Jackson friends now we have a special bond and we kind of all relate to each other through our love of Michael Jackson his music and his message and through Michael we kind of all relate to each other in a really special way and they mean a lot to me I mean honestly through Michael Jackson I've met People that are amazing, amazing people that I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't have met without having been a fan and being a part of the community. And I'm just really, really excited to share some of that uh, with you guys. Um, you guys see my Michael Jackson fan friends on a lot of my videos. Um, some videos I'm traveling with my friends and I just kind of focus on myself, but other videos, like if you check out um, my Las Vegas vlog when I went to uh, the Mandalay Bay party um, in Vegas for Michael's 60th birthday, you'll see a lot of my fan friends there. If you checked out my Moonwalker Christmas party vlog, you've seen that. Um, you've seen um, me travel to Disneyland and a, a bunch of other places uh, with people that I have met through being a Michael Jackson fan. So today, I'm gonna give you guys four things that I think kind of helped me meet and make Michael Jackson fan friends, and some things that I think will also be helpful to you guys if you're looking to make some Moonwalker friends yourselves. All right, so number one is find fans. Now, how do you do that? I can tell you guys there are so many more ways to find and meet Michael Jackson fans these days as opposed to back in the day when I was online. So in the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, um, the way that I was meeting and finding fans online were two ways. The first one was through the Michael Jackson AOL chat room, and I have told you guys before, and you guys have seen on my channel, um, uh, the very, very first um, fan that I ever met online, we met through the Michael Jackson chat room, and he's still a big part of my life today, and this is now like 15 or more years later. Now, what I can tell you guys is, um, Michael Jackson chat rooms back in the day, it was really funny because AOL had them, I'm sure Yahoo had them, a bunch of those web service clients had them, and you'd all be talking about different um, things, whether it be your favorite songs, or whether it be seeing Michael in concert, or uh, at the time there was no YouTube, but you'd talk about like your favorite websites where you can see different clips, people would do like videotape exchanges, and make pen pals and everything where they'd write to each other and exchange like letters and memorabilia um, but yeah that was really really cool way to meet fans back in the day I think that that was just a really cool way not only to meet fans but also to like be surrounded by like conversation about Michael Jackson and his art because it made me feel like not so alone and not so like obsessed by myself oh my gosh I listened to the bad album three times today like does anybody else relate and everybody's like yeah, we get it. Another way that I made uh, fan friends was by joining forums. Now, around the time of the trial, which was in 2003, a little bit beforehand, I joined a forum called MJJ Forum. Now, you guys may recognize that name now as it is MJJ Community. Um, I was on that forum and it really, really provided a sense of um, community when Michael Jackson was going through his trial in the um, the early 2000s and it was a hard time for fans it was I mean a super hard time for Michael and his family but it was also hard for fans because we didn't know what was going on and we had to kind of like defend Michael and defend ourselves similar to what maybe you guys have experienced in the last um, few months with a lot of stuff that's been going on in the media right now with Michael Jackson but we won't talk about that because doesn't need to be talked about, 
But anyway, back to my point. Michael Jackson MJJ community was a Michael Jackson forum and I recommend that you guys still check that out today. To be honest, MJJ community is kind of slow. Back in the day, people used to be updating like you could see a thread be updated every 30 seconds, every 2 minutes. And now I think that's a little bit slower when it comes to like really, really um, popular uh, news and current events. I think that a lot of those threads move a lot quicker, but you can go on there and you can talk about not only Michael Jackson, which is why I liked MJJ community, um, but also you can talk about other things. You can talk about other musicians that you like. You can talk about the other Jacksons. You can talk about art. You can share. Um, travel you can talk about pretty much anything and again like I said it's not gonna be as fast moving as it was back in the day but I do think it's worth checking out MJJ community now if there are any other Michael Jackson forums that any of you guys are a part of today or were a part of before let us know down in the comments I'd love to um, get the conversation started about some of the ways that people are meeting other fans online so what we didn't have in the early 2000s was social media. Now with the invention and the awesome creation of my favorite social media channel, which is Instagram, but also um, Twitter and Facebook, you also have really, really great ways that you can reach out and meet people um, through those mediums. Now Facebook, I recommend you just typing in Michael Jackson fans, or um, I know one of the groups I'm part of is called Michael Jackson Superstar. There are a bunch of different um, Michael Jackson related groups, and you can check them out by just doing a simple search in the Facebook search search bar and joining some of them and you know getting a chance to talk to people on there. Uh, you can definitely uh, check out Instagram. I think if you make a Michael Jackson fan page or something that's like kind of fan related, you interact with some of your biggest fan pages that you enjoy, um, I definitely think there is a chance for you to meet and talk to people uh, that way as well. Now the last option in terms of social media is going to be Twitter, but if you're looking for, um, I'm going to preface it like this, if you're looking for like the latest news and kind of gossips and trendy things to talk about related to Michael Jackson, things that are happening again in the news, if you're looking for that, if you're looking for people talking about Michael nonstop, whether that be positive or negative, join Twitter. But I'm going to let you guys know that recently I've been even scaling back on Twitter. I recently deleted the app on my phone. It's been gone since March. So if you guys have reached out to me on Twitter, I definitely come and hopefully apologize to you guys that I've been getting back to you late. But I just don't have it on my phone anymore because it was just really, really crazy. A lot of people on Twitter are really, really negative And I felt like it was bringing me down to a point where I was not enjoying Michael as much anymore and not enjoying like not feeling like making videos here and I realized that like I just want to be able to stay true to my love for Michael Jackson without having it tainted by other um, other people's opinions uh, and stuff like that so and again I totally respect everyone who's on Twitter a lot of the MJ fam on there are warriors. They have done amazing jobs defending Michael in the public eye and just like educating people and all that. But for me, just between like balancing um, just the channel and my regular job and just life and everything else that comes along with it, it was just really hard for me to be on Twitter. Um, but again, if you're into finding out the latest, latest news and all that, Twitter is also another place where you can meet fellow fans. All right, so number two is to share your favorites. Now, obviously, we're looking, f as Michael Jackson fans, we're looking to connect with other people who have Michael Jackson favorite songs uh, beyond like Black and White, Billie Jean, and Beat It. Not saying that those can't be your favorite songs, but you guys know what I mean. As fans, if we uh, talk to someone and they're like, oh, I love Given To Me, I'm like, you do? You know, like, let's talk. In the closet, let's talk. We want to connect with people who really understand Michael's message and know his music really well. So what I'm saying to you guys is, if you are in a situation where you're meeting other fans, like, tell, share what your favorites are. You know, if you're on one of those forums, or you're on a Facebook group, and someone mentions, like, 
in the closet, for example, and you can talk about what that song means to you, or, you know, just share. Like, you know, open up and share what some of your favorites are and why. And again, a lot of us relate through Michael's music, and I think a lot of us have similar interpretations and similar emotions when it comes to how the music um, flows through us when we hear it. So I always think it's interesting to share your favorites. And also before I get into the next part, I just want to let you guys know that pretty much none of my fan friends have the same favorite anything as me. Like, I'm one of the only ones that I know Dangerous Tour is their favorite. Like, you know, I have people in my life that love the Bad Tour, love the History Tour, love the Victory Tour, but Dangerous Tour, eh. Not so many. You know, so I'm not saying that you have to have like all similar interests. You guys don't have to be like, yes, we all believe that bad is better than thriller and therefore this is why we're friends. Like, no. You guys can all have different opinions and all that and I think that's what actually makes having Michael Jackson fan friends really, really cool is that you can each have different things that you love about Michael, different art that you love. Um, some of my friends love ghosts and um, I don't know if I've mentioned this on this channel before, but Ghost is not my favorite short film. It's one of my least favorite short films. And I think it's just because I was exposed to it at such a late stage in the game in my fandom that I just really didn't care for it too much. Um, but I have some people in my life that stand for Ghost. People in my life that love Invincible to no end. Like, yes, Invincible is my favorite. You know what I mean? And I'm here like Dangerous Tour, Dangerous Album, Dangerous Short Films DVD, like Dangerous Tour, What More Do You Want, Dangerous Era, yes. You know? What I'm saying is you guys can learn from each other. Um, make sure that you are meeting people that just have shared the same love for Michael's art and Michael's music, and I'm sure you'll have a really, really fun friendship ahead of you. Alright, so the third way that I have met and kept a lot of Michael Jackson fan friends is through events. Now, there are a lot of events, even though Michael Jackson is no longer here, which I'm so grateful for, by the way, the fact that we can still hang out and celebrate Michael Jackson, jam out to his music, meet other people who are on the same page, like, that is so cool, and we're coming up on 10 years of having lost Michael, and that just speaks to who he was as a person and as an artist, like, he just so brings people together still after all of these years and going to events is one of the ways that I've met a lot of fan friends. I'm actually going to share with you guys my very first fan event. Um, it was a two-part event. The first part was a vigil at Virgin Megastore in New York City around Union Square. Um, unfortunately, again, in 2003, I gathered with a lot of other fans and we kind of held candles and just kind of really put great vibes into the air for Michael. And then the second event that I attended was uh, in 2003, I also believe it was in 2003, and here's a picture of me here um, with some of my friends. Um, I'm also going to point out one of my other girlfriends, I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she's okay with me, you know, talking about her and revealing her um, uh, image or whatever on the internet, but she is like literally one of my best friends to date. We met when I was, I think I was 16 and she was 18 and, or 19 and we are just like the best of friends. We are like sisters, we talk about so many subjects, half the time we forget that we're Michael Jackson fans because it's not even what we're talking about, but again, Michael was the catalyst that brought us together and um, yeah, this was an event at the New York Public Library, I found out about it on MJJ Forum and it was so cool to like meet other people with like Michael Jackson shirts on and I remember being so excited because I didn't have a Michael shirt at that time but I like made a shirt out of like a Gap white t-shirt and I ironed um, Thriller, like a picture of the Thriller album on the front. So yeah, that was my f first event and there are a lot of events you guys that you can attend. Um, there are the Michael Jackson versus Prince parties. Um, I don't know if you've heard of those, but definitely check those out. Um, they are done by DJ Spinna and also done by um, 
another DJ, DJ Dave Paul. He also does another version of those parties. And those parties are, I mean, I think they do them all across um, major cities in the United States. Definitely worth traveling for if you've never been. Um, I also recommend going to any events like that the uh, Michael Jackson estate holds. Um, I went to, for example, the Broadway, not Broadway, excuse me, Broadway plays next year. The Mandalay Bay Michael Jackson MJ1 show, they always have like a special showing and celebration on Michael's birthday and because it was would have been Michael's 60th birthday, they had like a special party afterwards and it was a lot of fun you guys. I got to meet um, some fans. I got to actually meet some of you guys who watch my videos here. A few people came up to me and were like, are you the girl that went to Brazil? And I was like, yeah, that was me. I'm JP girl. Anyway, so yeah, there are a lot of events, I think, also around Michael's birthday in August. Even going, you guys, to, um, a show like Who's Bad, like, it's a tribute band. But I find that it's really cool to go to a tribute band and, like, see the other people that are around jamming out and hey, put your Michael Jackson shirt on so you kind of stand out, make some eye contact, and say what's up. Alright, so my last point in this video is going to be choose wisely. Just because someone is a Michael Jackson fan doesn't mean that they're gonna be an instant friend. And doesn't mean that you guys need to be instant friends either. There are just so many people in the world, and just as there are many different types of people in the world, there are also a lot of different types of people in the Michael Jackson fan community. So definitely choose wisely. Don't become super fast friends with someone that you don't know, and then just all of a sudden become like kindred spirits without actually getting to know the person. Don't just automatically assume that because they're a Michael Jackson fan, they're gonna be your like twin soul and you guys are gonna connect right away. There are a lot of fans that I know that I don't connect with. There are a lot of fans that, you know, I was the best of friends with um, in my younger years and we no longer have those friendships and those are those are always sad situations but I can say to myself now that I have so many Michael Jackson fan friends that mean so much to me. Um, you guys know some of them. Um, you, you know, I'll just shout out one of my girls, Gadget Trish. You guys know Honey Darche. Like, these ladies are also on YouTube and they have been so, so inspirational to me and so supportive. Um, you've seen a lot of my other girlfriends on the Mo Moonwalker uh, Christmas vlog. Um, just like I'm saying, you guys. My Michael Jackson friends have not only become fan friends that I can watch concerts with, but they've just been people that I find that I can really relate to and talk to about anything, and I'm so grateful for that. You know, it's sometimes such a burden to try to, like, hide certain parts of yourself, you know? And I think as being Michael Jackson fans, a lot of people mistake, like, our loyalty and our passion as obsession, and they can't understand it. And it's just a real blessing to be able to have people in your life um, that understand who you are and like your love for Michael and don't judge you for it. And I just, I just think it's a great, great thing. So if you have the chance, definitely try and make some Michael Jackson fan friends. Like I'm telling you, it's just, it's just a great feeling to have people around you that are of um, like mind. And yeah, so I wanted to share that with you guys and I hope some of those tips and some of that information was helpful. So let me know in the comments down below, do you have Michael Jackson friends that you met online and that you met offline? Like, let me know what the deal is. Do you guys hang out with other Moonwalkers? Do you have the experience of um, talking to other fan friends online? Like, let me know you guys where you guys are at and let me know if there's any way that I can provide more details. I can definitely do another video on this topic because again, something that I'm really passionate about. Um, Michael Jackson gave me such a sense of community um, just through uh, being a part of the fan fandom. So let me know uh, what you guys thought of this video down below. Comments, questions, suggestions, all that. Talk to me down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.